riding the waves of feeling. I woke up this morning, and besides my normal waking fog, as I sat on the edge of my bed, there was some familiar terrain of feeling down deep. It was familiar in the sense that it seemed ancient and something I hadn't felt for a very long time. It was soft, powerful, all-encompassing, and poignant, as if I had just arrived back home after a long absence. This particular feeling persisted, and as I went on with my day, I noticed that almost everything I looked at, every smell, every sound, was triggering feelings I'd felt as a child or at different times in my life, sometimes cascading with four or five episodes firing at once. These have been intense enough to bring me to a complete pause, motionless, simply being and experiencing these intense messages from beyond or unburied from deep within. Many of these feeling phantasms were melancholy and brought about reactions of futility and sadness. As these continued to wash through me, I realized there was a juicy counterpart at the other end of this feeling spectrum. Futility could be felt as high hopefulness. Sadness could be felt as poignant joy. It became a matter of simple choice as to which end of the spectrum of these feelings I could feel. For want of a better analysis, it would seem I've stumbled on a kundalini event where suddenly new spaces, new vistas of possibilities have been revealed, and the gateway to these possibilities seems to have been flung wide open. Lately, there have been astronomical reports about the sun's heliosphere contracting along with the solar minimum. The contraction of the heliosphere allows high-powered and high-velocity cosmic rays from galactic center to more easily penetrate the boundary between the heliosphere and our solar system, bringing new types of radiations to our planet. These have been shown to directly affect human consciousness. Whatever it is, something's going on, and it's being felt by humanity either consciously or unconsciously, bringing a multitude of opportunities for all of us to explore the multidimensional aspects of our being. There is so much about ourselves that has been obscured, cut off, and made invisible for the sake of incarnation, cultural control, and constriction of our senses and abilities. When we begin to access previously shut down perceptions and pathways to high abilities, it feels like a coming home or a recentering of being, just on the verge of overwhelming yet completely natural. It is the second coming of the self, the beginning of an embodiment of everything that is. Ask for it, reach for it. It is there, and say hello to the infinite you. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX. www.pureenergyrx.com.